All right, guys. So welcome back to Mist, day 55 of this apocalyptic world that we know. And we've not really done too much around the base since the previous episode. I have gone ahead and set up a couple more lights, which I'm going to test right now before it gets any lighter. And then we're going to get straight into it because I've got a lot that I want to get done today. OK, so none of the lights have popped. You remember these ones from last time? Look how cool that looks. When Kate walked in front of it, then there was like a big old reflection. I've added one more to this corner over here. Just so that this door is covered. I mean, it is shining in a really awkward position, but at least it's out of the way of the vehicles. And I can see if the door is left open. I'm definitely going to have to add some more stuff over here once I get a little bit of time. But these are the two that I've added just on these back two entrances. I did want to show you guys this as well. I didn't have any idea this was a thing. When you go up to these lamps, you can actually tilt them. Whichever position you want up and down. So if you don't just want them aiming at a door, if you want them at like the walkway or something... Or even at the top of the water tower, or even on the side of the walls of your base, just to spice it up a little bit. And you can do that if you want to do it. But I mean, it's fit for purpose right now. We've got them aiming at the doors, so we can make sure no infected are getting inside and we're locked up nice and safe. So, the first thing that I want to check on today is this stuff. Look at that yield that we got. That is a lot of food to go around, so I think I'm going to harvest that up today. Get loads of tomatoes in. I'm hoping that we do get some seeds from this as well. And plenty of seeds from the corn. That corn stack, though. They've grown really well. It was actually really difficult to keep these going towards the end. Because look at that. It looks like everything's drying out. But they seem to have grown okay. I did make sure I kept these topped up as well. It's something that you really do have to keep your eye on. Now, just before we go inside, I wanted to test something. So, in the top right corner there, it says, out of 3,000, we're running 525 right now. So... I wanted to test. Let's just turn these two off. 375. So you can actually save electricity by turning some stuff off. Or I guess you can save the capacity out of 3,000 if you turn some stuff off. And underneath that, I think I said that I didn't know if there was any kind of timer to see how long we've got left. I think next to where it says the fuel, where it says 2248, I think that's how long we've got left of the fuel, which isn't really a long time, but it's more than enough for... What I'm going to need it for, because I don't always have this thing running. Okay, so with that being said, the light is taken care of outside. I'm definitely going to be adding some more. I just wanted to check if there was any different light sources that I hadn't really come across. I think there is. I think there's something inside that I haven't seen, but more to that point. While I've been going around the base, just doing the basics, you know, keeping things ticking over, the usual, the boring stuff. I've noticed inside of the base is really dark at nighttime, and I'm constantly using my torch everywhere I go. And I want this to feel like home, so let's spruce it up a little bit. Let's see what we can work with. Workbench, there's nothing we can add here. I've added a little bit of furniture, I'll show you guys, into the kitchen, just in case anybody wants some breakfast. You know, the homely touches. Weapons, no, we're not interested in that. Or ammunition, we are going to get into this today, by the way. That's a little bit later on. Gears clothes no i really wish there was a way we could make our own clothes as well like maybe for the changing seasons i'm a little bit worried about if the winter rolls in what we're gonna do okay so this is it illuminate white pale electricity is required energy 50 units so one circuit board two components and one empty bottle this is good news because now we can use these empty bottles that we've been collecting and i've really not got really any use for so one circuit board two components one bottle i should have loads of that in reserve we've been collecting them let's just grab this eight circuit boards i did do a little bit of a, uh, a run yesterday so let's just grab two of those make sure everything's organized what was the last one it was the bottles wasn't it oh okay those things are not looking too good 12 percent and 10 percent canned and the bottles let's just grab that that should be everything actually saying that i've not started the day hunger's pretty low thirst is pretty low Let's treat ourselves. We're having some beef. We've been working hard. We've been making sure the area is safe. Taking out bandit camps. A little treat. A little pick me up. Nice. Drink some water too. I don't have any soda cans left. <laughs> I've just gone right through them. Let me just top that one up as well. Make sure that I'm not missing any food in case we need to go out somewhere. Right. So. We need to build this up. How many of these can I make from what I have? Can I make at least three? Oh, I can make four. Alright, let's go ahead and do... One for this room, one for the kitchen, one for like the stairs area, and one for my room. So let's just make four of them up. So basically what I'm going to do with this is just place them around and see what light it gives. Don't really know how this is going to work though. Where should I place this? Ideally, you'd want it like above these, this stuff. 
So if you're working at night time, you can kind of see where you're going to place it all down. Like, there. Seems as good a spot as any. And then, this room. I don't really want to place it over this side. This area here, I think I'm going to throw a fridge down here, but not right now. I, I'm not in desperate need of one. Slight there or something? Let's try that. Let's just throw you on the side. Do I need one in this area? I really don't use anything here. I was going to use this for just the, the shit that I'm not using. Just, you know, throwing it away. We can make like a, uh, a garbage can and use it for stuff we want to dispose of. Let's place this down. Which side of the wall do I want to place it on? No, I'll place it this side. Seems a little bit better if we place it there. And then turn you on as well. And the last one is definitely... Get out of the way, Rachel. Is going in my room. Place you down right there. Perfect. Turn you on. Okay, so we've kind of lost the glow of the morning now where it just changes into daytime. But I, I mean, we can still get an idea of what it looks like. All of this stuff on. What's the power like with that now? 675? Is everything on? I don't think all of the... Oh, wait. Maybe they are. What do they look like from back here? Oh, that's really nice. I was a little bit worried that these wall lamps would bleed through the side and it'd look really, really cheesy. But it actually looks really nice. It's capturing the entire room and we're not... Oh, there we go. So they all weren't turned on. Yep, I'm really happy with this. Got that one there above the benches. This one here for the kitchen. Definitely don't want one down here. This is lighting all of this space up. And then in my room, want a little bit of privacy or, you know, just need a little bit of light for whatever I'm doing, organizing some stuff around. We are good to go. Right, let's have a look at how much that uses then. 725. There's so much more that I could place down with that one generator. Again, this was a really good make. I wonder what turbo mode does though. I'm kind of scared to find out. I'm sure I saw some torches somewhere, though. Where was that? Is it in this? Really would like if we have some standing torches. I know I've seen them somewhere, but I'll have to go around and find them. I know we can place some torches around, and I think that'd be a good idea. Rather than just sucking things from the generator, just put some standing torches down in each corner of the base like that, just to give it a little bit of a glow so it's not completely pitch black. But that's that taken care of. We're moving on. We've got the light covered. The next thing is tools. Do I really want to go ahead and make... What was it? The repair bench. I think it was. There it is. Repair bench. Tools, weapons, repair bench. So it takes two gears, low quality metal, eight scraps, and eight components. Now, I'm thinking that this probably repairs the weapons at a cheaper cost of actually making it new. But I have so much in supply of resources and stuff... I'm not too concerned about that right now. So let's just go ahead and make a new one. What do we need? I wanted to make a longbow because mine's kind of working out. If um, if it turns out that the repair bench is better, then I'll definitely make it. But for now, let's just go with this. So we need 12 sticks, 4 lashing, and 2 dried guts. Do we have the guts? Oh, we've got plenty of that stuff. So 2 dried guts. I think I might need to make some lashing. 2, there we go. Okay, yeah, I've got plenty of leaves. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to make a start on this. I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, there we go. So we've got ourselves another longbow now, just in case I need it. I've been using the hell out of this thing, so it's definitely a good thing that we've made another one. I'm probably going to end up getting that repair bench in the end, but I don't just want to bust through all of the materials that I've got for what I want to get done today. So next order of business is getting rid of this crap because it's some, I hate that when I've got that in my inventory and it's just not organized and I have to go back later and do it all over again. Basically, what I need now in order to make those fire arrows is make a start on the biofuel, which I should have already done. So if we throw that into there. That should be the last of the animal fat that I have. If it's not, then I can throw more of that in the pot. Just checking every single one of these cupboards. Yeah, everything has gone. So this is the last of the animal fat. Do I have nothing in this? No, I don't. Should have some firewood. There we go. Throw this into the campfire. Get this thing cooking. First time. Come on. Nope. Second time. Shit. This one has to work. Nice. Okay. I didn't want to have to go around making matches. Okay. So the animal fat is cooking again. We're almost at 1.5 liters. I've already got another one over in that cupboard. But what we need to do now... 
Okay, so around midday. We're actually going to take a trip. And we're going out. We need another bear. Because I need more animal fat. I want so many of those fire arrows. Not just for the bandits. But for that berserker. We've got some unfinished business with that thing. So, I think we should head out. Should we do this first? So it's all kind of done. Because after that. We're taking a trip up to the city and seeing if we can cause some trouble up there. Harvest tomatoes. And I'll show you guys how you actually get the seeds from these things. Let's harvest this one up too. I don't know if it's just me, but is that noise really satisfying to you guys? Like that rustling of the leaves? I don't know what that takes me back to either. Oh, shit. Okay, we got tomatoes falling everywhere. Look how juicy those things look though. Oh my god, <laughs> so many tomatoes. All right, there we go. I've just been going through a few of them. These three here, we can't harvest them for seeds. But as you can see, I've broken down two. I've got two seeds already. Nothing in this one. We can get one seeds out of that. It's definitely worth doing it as well. Because the more that we have in terms of rations or being able to plant stuff, the more it's going to give us in the future. It's actually not giving us anywhere near what I thought we'd get. What's that going to give us in total then? What, maybe four or five? It's going to be enough to plant again, but I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I want way more than this. I think I'm just going to have to expand what we're growing. Zero. Come on, you've got to give me some. One more there. We are actually ticking past midday as well, which I didn't want to do. And then zero in that one. So what do we get? Okay, we got six out of that, which isn't bad in all honesty. We, we can make that work. Oh, we've got these too. Let's throw these up here as well because this is the fresh batch that we haven't tested yet. See if we can harvest them. But this is mainly like the usual stuff that I have been doing around the base. Like I keep calling it the boring stuff. I don't know if you guys want to see this. I'm going to try and make an effort to show you guys the, the daily things that I've been doing. So you understand what keeps everything ticking over. You know, daily chores that we all would have to get done. It's about this one unit. It's okay, this is a better batch. We're definitely harvesting more from this. So we've got two of those already. Nothing out of this one. One out of this. Can we actually stack them before I harvest it? I wonder if that's actually a thing. I don't think it would be. One in there and then... No, I think it just swaps it. Zero. And one. Nice. So we got four out of that one as well. What's that? Ten in total then. So let's put these into here. And then we've got ten seeds that we can replant against six for the corn. Right. So before I actually get the... Uh, the corn harvested. I'm going to have to make a little bit of space. Maybe this one. We've got a lot more food now, which is a good problem to have. All right. So we just took a little bit of a nap while the mist was around. These guys were just keeping watch. They were beating down on that door pretty hard, but there's no way they're getting through. The bad news is we've just woken up, though, and one of those tomatoes that we ate turns out gave us fucking food poisoning. So we're going to have to nurse ourselves back to full health again. I did want to check while it was nighttime though to see where the dark areas of the base were. Let me just see. This area over here obviously needs a little bit of light. It's going to help out a lot as well. Maybe on the cross section too. When those cans are on, they're really cool looking. But in terms of light, they're not really giving us a lot. On the back of the furnace as well. Blacksmith area. This area is covered. Look at that. Also, I don't know if I have shown you in here, but this is going to be like another miniature farm for the chickens. Not got around to it yet. We'll probably do that first, like when we're going around doing a little bit of hunting, because we need to go looking for a bear and areas where I think chickens will be. So that's what we're going to do. So I guess for now, I'm just going to get some rest, try and sleep away some of this food poisoning. I'll be back with you guys at first light. really hope there's some way that we can hotwire one of these things in the future. It'll be so useful. Any of them in there? Not seeing anything. Let's just keep it going. There we go. We got ourselves a bear. Alright, let me turn the engine off. Don't want to spook it away. Oh, you know what? Let's keep it quiet. 
do this properly. The ideal scenario here is we get its attention. It charges to us. I can use the car. I can jump on top of it. And we can take this thing out quick. My only concern right now is, is there another bear? Here we go. She's coming. Go down, bear. There we go. Nice. Right, I'm just going to double check that there's not another one. They have been around here before, and like I say, I have seen two of them in this area before. So far, I'm not seeing any signs of another bear. Last time I was here, it was over this side. Just kind of waiting at the bottom of the hill. And the other one was just up here next to these tents. I'm not hearing anything or seeing anything, so I'm hoping that is a good sign that maybe it's just one in the area. I would have kind of liked two, but I mean, we got this one down now. Let's just claim all these arrows back. I thought we would use a lot less than we did. Yeah, we've lost a little bit in the way of arrows there. All right, so we only need the actual fat. So how long is that going to take? So we can take seven units, an hour and 45. Don't think I need the food. Because this is its just going to go away really quickly. I've got tin stuff. I've got dried out meat. Could probably use two of those. That's going to take three hours. Actually, you know what? Let's go down with one of those and take that instead. That's probably better. I thought I heard a noise while I was harvesting the bear up. the other one it was just over this side I just couldn't see it because it was behind the trees I told you guys there was two of them in the area there we go we hit her she's going to be able to get up this way headshot nice okay that's perfect that is exactly what we wanted two bears Using the time as much as possible. What time is it now? Okay, it's almost 11. And actually, just before I get this bear up, I wanted to know if I could pick the chicken up. Oh, it's Bobby. <laughs> I don't know if you guys will remember this chicken, but <laughs> this is one that we got a while ago. Let's grab you, Bobby. I'm just checking to see if I can place Bobby inside of the car. I can't remember if I tested it before. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of me placing him inside, but what about if we do like this not seeing him anywhere I'm hoping that I've got him inside of the, the actual car with us right now I mean we're about to see oh nice okay so he does stay with us that'd be the same for if we just place him down here then alright and you just stick around Bobby just while I get what I need Okay, so it took a little bit of a detour, having a look around, see if there's any other spots that had chickens. And while I was driving, I realized the mistake that I'd made. You shouldn't ever name something like this, because then you grow attached to it. And in this situation, growing attached to what is ultimately going to be food is a bad idea, because you can never bring yourself to do what you have to if a situation arises where you have no food left. Let's say the crops go bad. Let's say something happens to the walls and the only food that is protected is inside of these doors once we get it all sorted out. I can't do that. So with that being said, chicken, make yourself at home. I really want to see what it does though. I don't know if it's going to use this as intended. Like, is it going to use this bit here or if it's going to use... I don't know what the name of these are, like stalls or something. 
I do want it to make itself at home though. I'm gonna leave those doors open as well because like I say, I don't have a chicken feeder down or any way for it to get a drink, so it can just have the room of the compound. But we are gonna head back out in a second because I do want at least one more just to see how they interact. I wanna know if we can get eggs as well. You'll remember that we followed that trail all the way up there and there was a weird building that we don't really know what it was used for, but maybe scientists trying to find a vaccine or just studying the infection or something. But while we came through here, I realized there's a lot of chickens just on the loose. Maybe it was a food storage place or something. But we got one over there. Oh, I heard one next to this fence. One down there. Is there any on the outside? A rock down that side. I thought I just heard one as I was coming in. It might have run off. All right, let's go and get that one that's on the other side of the fence then. I do remember actually catching these things was pretty easy. I've just got to kind of surprise it. All right, here we go. It's backed up against the fence. Should be able to get it. Nice. Right, that's two chickens that we've got. I think I can only hold one at a time, so let's just take it back. Okay, a brand new day, which takes us to day 57. This food poisoning is still kicking our ass. We're dehydrating way quicker than we usually would. And I think our hunger is getting stuck at a certain place, which is really weird. It's so unique to that food poisoning thing, but at least we know now. I'm not going to be eating the tomatoes or the corn just straight up. I'm actually going to throw it on this thing and cook it up properly first, which how much of that do we get? 0.58. I've also got like three other liters in there. So we can make those fire arrows. Are we good for food and water? I did just have some a second ago. Got to make sure that we're checking that. I'm going to grab another one of these. Make sure we got three of them. And I'm going to grab another beef because it tops me up when I need it. All right, so what do we need for these fire arrows? We need one stick, three feathers, one arrowhead, one rag, and 0.1 liter of biofuel. I guess that's just to douse the edge. All right, just a quick check of everything that we have. So 1.5 liters of the low-grade fuel... Two stacks of rags, 10 sticks, 16 feathers, don't need that, and three arrowheads. I do have some more scrap metal melting down as well, so we can make some more of that, but let's see what we can make happen with this. Make three. I'm actually interested to know how we light this if there's an animation, because as far as I'm aware, there's no lighter in this game, and I don't have any matches. All right, let's come back. Going to equipment. We want to add these into here. And let's see what they look like then. I'm hoping that they look good. <laughs> just for the cool factor. Here we go. Fire arrows. Oh, there we go. Oh, that does look really cool. See, this is what I'm saying. I made these for the Berserker. I'm hoping that the fire really, really does a number on him. I mean, if it doesn't, he's definitely going to do a number on the bandits. So that's another thing that we can use now. Right, what else do we want to get? I've decided as well, I was going to take the shotgun, but because I very rarely use this thing yet, and we actually got it from the city as well, I wanted to take this out and stretch its legs a little bit. If we do come across any of them, I think one shot is all it's going to take to take a bandit down with this thing. It's got plenty of kicks, so I think that should be everything. What time in the day is it? 7.16. Yeah, I think I'm going to stock up and we're going to head out. Let's go to the city and see what trouble we can cause. All right, well, we made it back to the city. Last time I was here, there were patrols over in that tree line, so I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to get spotted, but there was also patrols on that corner over there, and... Oh, shit. That's exactly what I was just going to say. We're patrolling this road. I hope he comes around this side, because I would like to see what this fire arrow does. Come on, turn right. I think he's just going to keep going that way. There's a second and a third back there as well. Don't know if you guys can see them. One there. One there. Got himself a shotgun. I don't know what he's got. AR or something. I think this guy only has a pistol. Nobody down that road. Another one with a shotgun. That's four of them. Yep, 
hearing shots over there. I don't know if they're taking out the infected or if they caught a glimpse of me. There's one down. Definitely just saw movement there. <laughs> this gun got some kick to it. Let's reload up. They just started shooting on something and then something freaked them out. I don't know if they caught a glimpse of me coming down this road, but this guy came out of nowhere. I had to take him out. I had that feeling that he was going to turn around and see me in that doorway. All right, what you got? Some salt. Did you drop any weapons? I really, really like this gun. <laughs> I really, really do. <laughs> Ourselves another M4. Some rounds. Broken pistol. Just gonna take everything that we can get our hands on. Let's just check something. Can we get on top of this? Nice. There's no way anybody in these buildings didn't hear the shot from this. So loud. I took those two guys down over there. Looks like there's plenty of stuff in these buildings, though. <sighs> okay, let's not mess around. I don't want to take any chances. I actually don't think anybody's here. Let's grab what we can. Some ammunition. Duct tape. Scrap. All good stuff. Any supplies? Nothing. Every single time I glance across and I see these car seats, I'm thinking it's just head and shoulders. Like, you see that car seat over there? I keep thinking that's a person. Sloppy. Use way too many rounds then. That was dangerous as well. Slap the shit out of us. Just recovering from food poisoning. That is the last thing we need. Right, well the good news is... I don't think there's anybody else in the area. At least nobody's come in since... We fired off a few shots. I say a few. I almost went through a full clip up there. Which reminds me as well, I wonder if those guys actually purposely left those infected in there to protect these small buildings for the stuff they're keeping. You know, like their stashes. It's kind of genius when you think about it. I mean, if this was my group, I would definitely have snipers posted on most of these roofs. Just so you're covering more of the area, you know? You got eyes on stuff, like over there. Stuff where you wouldn't check, like in those trees or something. You could have eyes on this roof and you'd get first sign of anything. And it's just weird to me how the smaller camps have those snipers. They've got eyes almost everywhere, but in the city, there's hardly anything on the rooftops. They're all on ground level. Maybe they just got a little bit too comfortable. Got another building with more infected in. I'm down. Oh, that would have been a headshot. There we go. Got another engine here. What can we make space with? Let's eat that. I'm not going to turn down taking an engine. Might come in really useful. Some nails. I can always make some of them. Still no sign of that group that went into the tree line. I mean, I'm kind of happy. I'm not complaining. I'm just going to get out of here, though. I physically can't carry another thing. We've got a good mix as well of food, 
and some extra materials that are going to help us out. So let's not push our luck. Let's get in the car and get back home. You know what? Might as well grab a chicken while we're here. It's not going to hurt. Oh, there's two. Come back and get another one, but definitely going to grab one while we're here. Come here, chicken. Don't run up that hill. Don't make me chase you up that hill. Oh, you bitch. There we go. Oh, there's another one there, too. This area is actually really good for chickens, then. There we go. Nice. We made it back. All right, let's throw this chicken down. And then we can kind of go through what we got from that city raid. Get you inside. Are these guys still... Oh, yeah, they are. They're still inside their little areas. And they've moved as well. At least I think they have. That one was, like, down here. There you go. This reminds me as well. I do want to do a little bit of an experiment to work out what our timeline is. To see if I don't water these crops how long until they wither away and die. I think I'm going to do it with this one. But I think that is for the next episode. I'm going to put something over here as well to make sure that we get more crops going. I can definitely get started on that and with a little bit more light around the base too. But the good news is we did manage to tackle the city today. Not everything. We didn't take all of them out. Obviously, it was a few of them that went into the tree line. But we did get a decent haul with some of this stuff. And it's really going to help if we go back down into the mine especially to tackle that berserker thing so for now guys we are going to end as always if you are enjoying the missed episodes please drop a like below subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one